Hi friends, welcome back to scenario based interview questions. This is the second one. So here we have some data given to us by the interviewer, which contains data from a food app. Of course, to uh, not breach the confidentiality and all, I have trimmed that data. I'm showing you just a small sample of the data pertaining to the requirement that we will be looking at. So we have restaurant ID and we have cuisines. So these are the cuisines which are served in each of those restaurants. Now, the question was to identify the number of cuisines served at each restaurant. Number of cuisines. Okay, so that is where it gets tricky. How can we figure out the number of cuisines? Means we have to count the words here, right? French cuisine, that is one. Japanese, second. Desserts, third. Again, if you look at uh, the second restaurant, they are also serving three cuisines. Third restaurant is serving four, so on and so forth. Of course, the data was pretty big, but to not breach any confidentiality uh, agreements, I have taken a snapshot of the data and edited it. So how can we get or count the get the count of the number of cuisines here? Okay, I will provide this data in the comment section. So what I would request you all is try to pause the video here, take that data, create a dummy file. Uh, okay, put that data into an Excel, create a dummy file and try it out from your side once. Post which uh, I would recommend that you continue with the video. So you will get to know how I have solved it. Okay. Of course, I'm not saying my solution is the best. You might come up with a much elegant way of solving this solution. If so, do share it with me in the comment section. Okay. So first, of course, we'll have to connect to the data. I'll show you this data. So this is uh, a list of restaurants and these are the cuisines served across different restaurants. And I'm going to connect to this data on Tableau. We have data present in a single sheet, so that's automatically loaded. And now I'm on the worksheet. So we have the restaurant ID given to us and the cuisines. Okay, but we are supposed to count them. One, two, three. If I go here, one, two, three, four. Some places only one cuisine is being served. Okay, some places four, some places three, some places two. So we need to count. So my approach was this. I first determined the length of the field, the cuisines field. Okay, so to get length, we use the length function of cuisines. All right, so let me show you the length. This data here is 26 characters long. So there are 26 characters here. If you look at this, it is 31. If you look at Chinese, it is 7, Filipino 8, Korean 6, so on and so forth. So it is the complete length of that string. Okay. Then what I did is I replaced commas with nothing. I mean, kind of removed commas. So how do we remove that? It's a calculated field where I will remove commas. We can do this using the replace function. Replace the data present in the cuisines field. What are we looking for would be the substring. We are looking for the comma. And what would we want to replace it with? Just blank, null. Not even a space. Because if you give a space, it will be counted as one character. Okay, so we are just removing it. Therefore, not even a space. Simply open the quotes and then close the quotes. Once this is done, if I get the length of this particular field, okay, I'll do it here itself. Now, let's say after removing commas, we want the length of this field. So what we would do is simply wrap this whole thing in the length function. Or, or okay, let me not confuse you all. Let me keep this as is and show you the data first. Uh, what happens after we have removed the commas here, okay? So this is the data after removing the commas. This is the data after removing the commas. So only the commas have been removed over here. All right. Now I need the length of this new string without commas in between. So I'll create a calculated field. New string. So that would be again the length function of what? The data where the commas have been removed. Okay. The data where the commas have been removed. Let's check. So you can see that over here, two commas were removed, right? We have three cuisines. 
So three cuisines means two commas have been removed. So we can see the length has reduced to 24. Here, the original length was 32. And how many commas were there? Three. So with three commas removed, it is down to 29. All right. So if we compute the difference between the original length and the length obtained by removing the commas, what will be the difference? So 32 minus 29 would be 3. But how many cuisines are we serving here? 4. Isn't it? So it, it, it's simple logic. It's like this. Suppose there is a stick and we have to break the stick into 4 parts. How many times are we going to cut it to be, break it into 4 parts? How many times are we going to cut it? Slice it. We will slice it only thrice. One, two and three. So with three cuts, I obtained four parts. Isn't it? The same thing with three commas, it is actually four members. If there are two commas, it is three members. If there is one comma, then there are two members. And if there is no comma, it is only one member. So if I take the original length and subtract the new length, Whatever I will get plus 1 is the number of cuisines. Isn't it? So if we take the original length over here, it's 26. The new length without the commas is 24. 24 minus, uh, sorry, 26 minus 24 is 2. But how many cuisines are being served here? 3. So take the difference and do a plus 1. That will give us the number of cuisines over there. Okay, so what we'll do is another calculated field. Now for the number of cuisines, okay, which would be the original length means this calculated field minus the length of the new string with the commas removed. And to this data, we need to add a 1. So just do a plus 1. Okay. What will this give us? Let me take it here into text. So you can see over here very correctly we obtained 3 as the number of cuisines. Here also 3. Here it is 4. And where we have only a single cuisine, there also we are able to see number of cuisines 1. Okay, now it's not necessary to show the other data. We are interested only in the number of cuisines, so we obtained it. Finally, by doing a right click on measure names and selecting add to sheet option, we will be able to give a name to this field. So when you create a table with just uh, dimensions and uh, when you have only one single measure, if you're creating a table with one single measure, remember the column name would not appear. So you have to select add to sheet option, which will bring up the column name. Somehow it comes twice. Okay. So one occurrence of measure names from the columns shelf can be removed. And then you can see a perfect table. Now, this is also not necessary. I will remove this. This would be the final report that you can deliver. And this is the number of cuisines, right? It should not be in decimals. So we'll just format it. Final touches. Format the number of cuisines fields. Customize the number and reduce the decimals to zero. So with this, we managed to show our final result. Okay. So like this, I approached the problem statement and suggested that, you know, my student does the same. But if you have a better way of doing it, if you can think of, you know, I'm sure you each of you would have different ideas uh, regarding how to solve this problem. So please do share your approaches with me in the comment section and we will see how we can improvise on that. Okay. Thank you, friends. Thank you for your support. And uh, please do like the video. And if you have found it interesting, please do share it with your friends. And before leaving, do not forget to subscribe to the channel. Thank you all. Bye-bye.